South Korea has developed the world's first PCR test that can distinguish the five coronavirus variants of concern, including Omicron. That means they don't have to sequence the genome of each sample, which takes days, and instead can identify the variants in a matter of hours. The government is also close to a deal with Pfizer for hundreds of thousands of doses for the new coronavirus pill. Kim Yun-sung reports. A groundbreaking step in South Korea's defense against Omicron. The country has developed a new PCR test that can single out the Omicron variant among COVID-19 cases within three to four hours. Previously, South Korea's health authorities had to use genome sequencing tests to detect Omicron, which took four to five days to show results. But this new test not only significantly decreases the time needed to detect Omicron cases, but it's also the world's first test that can tell apart all five variants of concern at once. The new test kit will be put to use from next Thursday. This comes as South Korea reported 16 new Omicron infections, with two being domestic transmissions. Meanwhile, critically ill COVID-19 patients are at record levels, with 1,084 patients in critical condition as of Friday. But on the back of the authorities' efforts to expand capacity, South Korea's health care system has gained more breathing room in the past two weeks. The share of occupied ICU beds have dropped from 82.6 percent to 78.8. Infectious disease hospitals are running at 66 percent capacity, down more than 10 percentage points from 79.2 percent. Meanwhile, South Korea is working on securing even more of Pfizer's Paxlovid COVID-19 pill. The government has been working out a deal with Pfizer for enough doses for 300,000 or more people, way more than the 70,000 earlier pledged. We're now in the final stages of that deal, and the Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency will soon make an announcement. According to health authorities, the pills may come in as early as the end of January. But until then, authorities said they could stretch the current distancing measures longer than the previously announced January 2nd, depending on future caseloads. Kim Yun-sung, Arirang News.